you shouldn't write music or do any kind of art in order to get people to like it. Mm -hmm. I think you express what you want to express and then if lots of people like it, that's great. But if, if only a handful of people like it, then I also think that's fine. <laughs> Wells is an Australian songwriter who made the lo-fi single By the Fields from the album A Plea and Vendredi in 2006. The single receiving over 20 million streams around the world. The subsequent album A Plea and Vendredi received excellent reviews and public support, reaching number 16 in Japan's HMV international charts. His new album The Plantation is released in 2017. Yeah, yeah probably the genres that stayed the same. I mean, um yeah, my, my, my friends who, who are on this tour too, we, you know, we were playing together back then. So it's the same people that I've been doing music with all that time. Um, yeah, I think you change... I think you just explore different areas as you go along and it's probably broadly the same genre. But I, I guess I like that. I like that it, when artists have a, have a distinctive thing that they do and when you hear a song, you know that that's their, their song because um, it's a kind of a distinctive genre. So I, I guess we've stayed in the same same genre, I guess, but ex exploring different kind of parts of that, yeah. Assume that you want to get some more public, more, more audiences, then would you change yourself to be accepted like, by more of them? Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we, to be honest, we're not, we're not too worried about that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we've, we, we, we enjoy playing music and it's fantastic to be able to come and play to people and we're glad that people enjoy the music but um, I, I, yeah we, we primarily play because we enjoy or well, I, I enjoy writing songs and I, I love melodies and new new songs so um, yeah I guess mostly it's about fulfilling that rather than hoping that people will like the music I mean it's great if they do but that, I don't think that's why you write you shouldn't write music or do any kind of art in order to get people to like it. Mm -hmm. I think you express what you want to express and then if lots of people like it, that's great. But if if only a handful of people like it, then I also think that's fine. So some of the albums that I like or some of the art that I like, they're, they're not famous, but they're important to me. Don't care too much about it. I think, yeah, I think <laughs> that's what you have to do. Yeah, I think if artists are trying to, uh, if their primary goal is to get famous or find an audience then I, I, I think that's missing the point of art yeah well it, it's it's hard to answer because I think what happens is that you write songs mm -hmm. uh, and then in reverse you work out what it is that inspires you so m my songs end up being about um, you know, little experiences that you have in your your life, or feelings, or relationships that you have, and um, stories that you hear from your friends, and um, yeah. So I think it, I get inspired by friends and my community and um, people that I know. Yeah, I think that's where I find most inspiration from. Yeah. What will you normally do in your daily life? You just find some elements or some inspirations for your song? Uh, in terms of music stuff, yeah. Yeah, I think there's something about um, that art is almost like you discover the your kind of emotions or inspiration through art. So it's not like you start with, you think, oh, I'm feeling sad, I'm going to write a song that is a sad song. I find that when you express art, you then you discover what it is that you are inspired by or what you feel. Um, so it's almost like art is the bridge for us to understand those kinds of things, yeah. Um, we know that many Chinese fans know you because of uh, there's a famous song called Valor Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. me as well. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, someone told me it got onto Chinese ringtones or something on, a, on yes, a, their phones. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. And um, when, uh, also I, I know that this song has very high reputation around the world as well. Mm. So when you write some new songs, do you trying to you know reach the same achievement as this song made and well, I think you can't I think you can't do that you can't think like that I think you've got to 
just whenever you are writing a new album, it, it's a particular period of time and you you just write new things. I, 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 I never listen to my own music, like my previous albums. So I think you, you do something in a period of time and then you finish that and then you move on to the next thing. So I, I, I don't listen to that music or, uh, I, you know, uh, we obviously play it when we tour, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, I don't think about what I've done in the past. I'm most mostly looking forward and thinking about the future and the next thing. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 it's not really possible to try and revisit or recapture something. I, I find myself mostly getting excited about the next thing rather than previous things, yeah. Like musically, uh, there's, uh, I think it's quite a different sound. We, we haven't explored much um, using like drums in the in the song. So there's a lot more drums and bass guitar and um, electric guitar in these songs. There's, a, I mean, there's a mixture of different types of songs on the album, but um, that's, yeah, that's different from our last album, which was more um, programmed electronic drums and um, just electric guitar. Yeah. So this yeah, across the albums I think there's different instruments. Um yeah, I like having in albums I like having consistent use of the instruments. So there's a certain set of instruments that you use across the whole album. Um so yeah, that's what we've got for this one is piano and acoustic guitar and um lots of harmonies and yeah. So what are you trying to express in this new album? Yeah, well, well, once again, I think it's it's that you write a bunch of songs. You don't think, oh, I want to express this, and then you write some songs. I think you write songs, and then you realise what it is that you are feeling or wanting to express. And um, I guess the the song, the plantation, which is one of the songs on the album. Uh, yeah, it's about a it's about a, a forest or a plantation of trees near my parents' house. They live on the coast of, um, in the south of Australia. Uh, yeah, and um, I used to run around that plantation and, uh, as a, and when I was a kid. And yeah, my, my, my parents moved away from their house. And I guess it's that, that sort of feeling of the places where you grow up that you sort of somehow attached to them. And when, yeah, when you move on from that, there's a sort of a sense of loss or remembering of, of those times, yeah. And is it this as a memory of your childhood? I think so, yeah, yeah. But, but I, I, like when you're writing songs, you're not consciously thinking, oh, I'm thinking about my childhood and therefore I'll write a song about that. Like it kind of evolves and you write and then you discover that that's what you're wanting to express, yeah. That's how it works for me anyway. Told you that the pains might go. This is not the end I know. And I'm wishing I could see how the bandages could be abandoned on the lawn. With the birds pulling on, the threads around and torn in two. Yeah, but I guess. Yeah, as I said, I'm always thinking about what, what is next to do. Um, and future plans. Yeah, I mean, I've taken up, I've ta I've taken up uh, trying to paint abstract art, but mm -hmm. very badly. Mm -hmm. um, but but I, I'm enjoying that. I've also got a, an idea of a um, like an instrumental album, like a, a, a sort of um, film music for a film. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I've got some ideas around about that that I oh, work great. on. But anyway, yeah, I'm thinking about the next kind of thing. Oh. <laughs>